okay so hi everybody and today we are up with another lead code problem and its name is construct binary search tree from pre-order traversal so pretty straightforward we have to construct a bst and we'll be given uh, we'll be given a pre-order traversal array okay and let's just quickly see what uh, the problem states return the root node of a bst that matches the given pre-order traversal okay so what a pre-order traversal is they have given us uh, okay so okay they gave us the properties of a bst now, in basically what pre-order traversal is it is a traversal algorithm in which we first uh, go to the root of the uh, tree then we go to the left sub uh, part and then we go to the right sub part okay so if you look at this bst first we'll go to the root 8 okay i am telling you about the input right now we have to construct a bst from it okay so input is given in this way suppose this is the bst 8 is our root so first we 8 then we go to the its left uh, child because root left and then right okay this is the order so 8 then 5 then its left child 1 and after this its right child 7 then we move to the top and we go on the right child of the node and then it's right okay so 12 is last and 8 will uh, wait will be the first one so how are we going to do it i'll be solving it in linear time complexity and i'll explain it how are we going to do it so let's just jump on to the explanation part first and then we'll code the solution okay so how are we going to solve this problem type of traversal in which we first uh, go to the root then we go to the left part of the tree and then we go to the right okay so on traversing some bst tree they have given us the pre-order and we have to construct the bst tree and return its node okay so i'll be doing it in linear complexity and with the use of a stack okay so i'll tell you how we are going to do it i'll use a stack and this stack will i'll push uh, the nodes in this stack okay it is it will not be of integer type it will store the nodes so it will be of uh, node type okay tree node that is given to us so i'll just let start i'll iterate through the array and i'll tell you how are we going to do it okay and at the right side i will draw the current tree okay on iterating so just let's start so first uh, element of the array is eight so I'll simply push it so our stack is empty and I'll make it root okay it is root. here I'm again saying that I have just written the in, uh, value of the node but it is of type node okay I'm just writing uh, its value no its current node value okay and it's that you can see so uh, we have traversed 8 now the next element is 5 so since uh, whenever we go to the next value we'll first peek in the stack to see the last value okay the value of the last node so the value of last node is 8 so the next element is smaller than 8 so i'll simply push this value in and i will make it the left child of the previous node okay so it will simply be the left child of the previous node okay and i'll iterate uh, again and the next value is also smaller than the previous value we can always peek the stack and look at the last entered value so the current element on which we are is smaller than the last entered value of the stack so nothing much we'll simply uh, push it in the stack and again i will make it the uh, it the left child of the previous node okay okay till now we are trees like this so now when we uh, go through the go to the next element we encounter seven so we'll peak the stack okay so now seven is greater than one so whenever an element greater than uh, the last entered element of the stack occurs we'll pop it until we get some value okay the which is greater than seven so 
I simply pop one out and now our stack will look like this okay now again I will look but 5 is also smaller than 7 so I will again pop 5 out and our stack will look like this but now you can see that 7 is less than the last element okay so in this case what I will do I will simply make it the right child of the last node that I took out okay I hope that is clear in such cases when I encounter value greater than the previous ones so I'll pop it out pop it out pop it out until I get some value that is bigger than the current element and I make it I make the current child uh, the current element the right child of the last pop node so the last pop node was 5 okay from this stack you can see that firstly we took out 1 then we took out 5 so I'll make it the right child of 5 and I'll push 7 in okay so up till 7 we are done now the next value is 10 so 10 is greater than 7 okay so again the popping game comes in and I'll pop 7 out now uh, stack looks something like this I'll uh, peak the value and again I can see that 10 is greater than 8 so I will pop 8 also out uh, uh, sorry now the uh, stack will be empty so stack will be empty now no value is there so I can push 10 in there and I'll simply make 10 the right child of the last popped node the last popped node was 8 you can see that okay lastly so I'll simply make it the right child of last popped node so 10 will be the right child of the last popped node that was it okay now my stack looks like this and we are on the last element the last element is 12 so again you peak the value the we, the current value is greater than the last element okay so I'll pop it out 10 and now our stack is empty so I will push 12 and I will make 12 the right child of the last popped node so 12 will be here and uh, in this way I have iterated through the array and you can see that in right we have our BST so that is, a, that is our idea of how we are going to do it using stack and I guess it is clear to you remaining part will be clear when we code okay so let's just jump on to the coding part now and I'll quickly, I'll quickly do it okay so let's just quickly code it now okay so let's start coding so first of all I'll check if okay so if the pre-orders length is 0 I'll return null after that uh, we know that the length is not 0 so I'll define a node okay root node and that is what we will return at the last so initially I'll assign uh, the value to the root node as the first element of the given array okay after that I will define our stack that we will be using and that will store the nodes of course ok and after that I will push the root node in it ok now we are ready to iterate through the given array ok so with this loop I'll iterate through the array and I will simply write I'm taking a node for checking okay 
because I can't make changes to the original root node because at the last I have to return that only so I'll have to declare another node so first let me write this is if suppose we encounter a value that is greater than the last entered value okay so in that case I have to make that as the right child of the last popped element so that is what I am checking I'll pop it out until the sorry here there must be a not sign okay I'll pop it out until either the stack becomes empty or I'll get some value that is greater than the uh, current value okay so that is the case it is in the case of when I have to make it a right child okay so I'll have to consider it so I'll pop the elements okay I'm popping it out now and I'll be storing it uh, in a temporary node that I have taken so now if temp is not equal to null Okay, so I'll simply enter it in the right node of the temp and I'll push it in the stack now I'm pushing temp dot right Okay, so this part is clear it was only for uh, identifying uh, whether to push it in the right uh, chai, uh, right uh, part or the left one so that is why I wrote it here if the value uh, I encounter in the, uh, if the value I encounter is greater than the peak value of the stack okay the last entered element so I'll have to uh, pop elements out until I get a bigger value so that is what is done here right part is over now if suppose I encounter a value that is smaller than the last entered element so the control will never get in this loop and temp will be null and then uh, the else part would be there so in else part I'll write code for left subtree okay so I'll I'll simply peek the last value of the stack and I will store it in temp okay we know that stack is of node type so I'll get the last node from this from writing this st.peak and I will make the current value the left subchild its left subchild uh, left subchild okay so I'll simply write temp.left free node and okay and now I'll push this to in our stack okay so this was our code okay and just a second and at last I will simply return root so this is our code and I hope it's uh, not that tough to understand I simply initialized uh, our root node at first after uh, after identifying that the pre-order is of length greater than zero so of course we have a root so initializing root taking a stack of node type traversing through the array and taking conditions if I encounter the value greater than the current element or smaller than the left element and may uh, hand placing it in the right and left subtree only and that is what I explained and this is the code so just let's run it simply okay okay so you're running it now oops I got 
got some error. Oh, it's pre-order. I'm so sorry. Runs now. Looks good to me. Okay, accept it for the basic test cases. Let's submit it. Okay, so submitted and this was the solution using stacks and if you understood it then my job is successful okay so see you in the next video